Hi there fellow investors, welcome back to Invest with James. Today we're diving into the fascinating emotional character of investors, which coincidentally matches your risk profile as well. More on that in a moment. Whether you're a high intensity day trader or laid back steady Eddie, there's a bit of each of these characters in all of us. So let's get started. The investor type one, the intense day trader or investor. You want to see this. First up, we have a very intense day trader or investor up at the crack of dawn before sunrise, checking the charts, checking the news, checking every detail to try and maximize small bites of profit out of the market. You are in and you are out in minutes. This is a very on edge, fast cut business. It's a very intense decision making and reacting to the news. It's not for the faint hearted. It's extremely exciting if you can handle the stress, if you can have the time to spend on it. Of course, it's very, very risky and with high risk comes very high reward. Secondly, you have the swing trader, the swing trader, much calmer, just with a smaller screen happens on a smaller time scale. This is the same as what I showed you earlier, but a lot more gentle. It means you can hop in on a day or take a day off and you're not on edge every minute of the day. You're looking for swings between the lows and the highs or even the highs to the lows. You can trade in both directions if you were trading this way. Swing traders often use other technical analysis to understand and identify a trend or pattern. So they're not glued to the, deep, the screens all day, but they stay informed about what's happening in the market. It's a more balanced approach, still adding some excitement with some breathing space as well. Slightly lower risk, but slightly lower return. Neither of them is correct, but which one are you? Please comment below if I've covered your emotional investor profile already. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you'll be informed of the next video. On to the next profile. Profile number three, the opportunist. With the opportunist, the investor is always on the lookout for the next big thing or the big opportunity. Having flexibility and adaptability to the market is really important. So you can capture on new and upcoming markets and companies that become available. With being an opportunist, you need to be well informed, curious and constantly researching new ideas. There's a little bit of a gamble, so there's still a little bit more risk, but it's nothing like the trading profiles I showed you just earlier. It can, this can still lead to significant gains by timing it right. This profile is about timing the market still. You still want to be in and out, maybe over the short term, of months and years, but you are still looking for shorter term gains. If you're looking for just for the wins, check out my other video on the dividend payments. These are similar examples to that where you're spotting the up and coming trends. That said, let's get on to the final profile, number four. And then we have the relaxed and easy steady eddy investor. <laughs> Last but not least, we have the relaxed steady eddy investor. This is the Warren Buffett style. You're in it for the long term, reliable growth generating businesses. This allows you to relax, let your money work for you. This is why capitalizing on compound growth is so important and having patience. Allow yourself to have time in the market more years than before. It's a lot more stress free. There's a lot less risk and yes, it's a lower reward. But you're not going to say no to a 10 to 15 percent return a year, which will double your money in just eight years. That's a very good return. Check out my other video here where I show you how to turn 100 pound into a million. Yes. OK, it's a long time, but it's perfectly possible and very realistic using the simple methods with the ETFs. Buy, set and forget. Keep it simple. So which investor style are you? or maybe you're a mix of a few. Understanding these emotional characters can help you navigate the investing world and find an approach that suits you and your risk profile. Thanks for tuning in to Invest with James. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be informed of the next video coming out. And drop a comment below to let me know what type of investor you are and what resonates most with you. Until next time, happy investing.